In this hour 18 with breaking news. That breaking news on the FBI raid in the city of Chicago. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar live in Jefferson Park where it all went down today. Charlie. Brad and Marie, the FBI has spent and has dedicated an incredible amount of resources in tracking people down who were at the Capitol last week. They said more arrests were coming, and today one of the latest here on the northwest side of Chicago, Kevin Lyons, arrested for allegedly storming the Capitol last week, and he posted pictures apparently showing him at Speaker Nancy Pelosi's house. A picture uh, posted online today by neighbors here do show FBI agents looking through Kevin Lyons' HVAC truck. Electronics and other items were removed from the home. According to neighbors out here, we are told that they were out here for quite some time. Investigators focusing on Lyons' social media, which includes several pictures of him in body armor holding guns. Prosecutors say that Lyons posted this picture of a map showing the route that he took from his house here in Chicago to D.C. with a caption that he refused to tell his children that he sat back and did nothing and that he, quote, was going to D.C. to stop the steal. Now, Lyons allegedly posted this picture in front of Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office. When he was confronted with this picture during an interview with the FBI last week, he was surprised. He told agents that he was surprised that the, those agents found it because it was only posted for a short period of time before deleting it. Now, Lyons is no stranger to run-ins with the law. He was arrested in 2014 for obstruction of a police officer, but that charge was later dismissed. It should have never happened. It could have been avoided, you know, and uh, to me, that was a big no. I'm ashamed of our current president you know, and his response to it, you know. And hearing somebody on your block was possibly arrested in connection to it, what goes through your head? I'm amazed. I'm like, I mean, I can't even put it into words. Those two misdemeanors that Lyons now faces, those federal charges, uh, he is being held on $10,000 bond. He will be back in court next week. Reporting from the Northwest Side, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Charlie, our thanks.